Hello YouTube world, back for part four. My name is Jordan and we are gonna be creating an email sender app with part four of the Google App Maker uh, tutorial series. So I've created a brand new app. I'm gonna rename it to email sender and the page I'll rename to email sender. Now let's go ahead and build some of the widgets that we're going to need. First up is a text box. I'm gonna drag that in, change the name to two and the value, sorry, the label to two. I'll do the same thing for the sender subject line. We'll change the name to subject and the label to subject. And I think I wanna make this a little bit wider. And I'll make the two line about half and then we need a text editor area grab that text editor drag that over change the name to msg actually i'll just spell out message that's easier for me and the label will give message i'm going to resize these things a little bit i want the subject to be just as wide as the text editor that's Great, that's about halfway. And the last thing we need is a button that's gonna be send message and the text will be send. Let's modify the on click event of the send button so we can scroll down to events. Let's look for on click and custom action. And now we need to give it a couple of things. We have access to the widget itself here, and we need that because we want the, uh, the panel widgets, the descendants of the panel. So we'll do that like so. We grab the widget parent descendants. The to widget is gonna be the, what ends up in this. Oh, and I lose my, uh, my I lose my on click event here. Where am I? Custom action, okay, there we go. Uh, that's our to value, then our subject, and then our message. We will change the text of email status to sending email, and then run a function, uh, run a function called send message with those values. Okay, let's add a clear form button. And let's just change the name to clear form and the text to be clear form. And here we need an on click and we're gonna define that as just clear email form. That's gonna be a function that we will declare elsewhere. So we can click done. And finally we'll grab this label and we'll match that up at the bottom and we'll give this the name email status and text nothing. We don't want it to say anything until we actually declare that because if you'll remember when we click on this send button yeah I'll put that there the send button the on click, where am I? In the on click, you've got an email status that we're setting to sending email. So when we actually click that, sending email will show up here at the bottom. So we'll have a little indicator that we're actually sending that email. Perfect. So now let's get into actually defining our scripts. We can do that by clicking on the plus sign next to our scripts. And we've got two options here. We've got client and server. We're gonna need both of these. I'm gonna go ahead and create them now. We'll just do create and we'll name this client script. And I'll create a server and I'll call that server script. These allow us to define functions that we can run from elsewhere. For example, when you click the clear form button, I wanna run a function called clear 
email form. So let's define that here. And we have access to some global variables such as the app and we can even pass in widget and uh, some other event properties. Right now we'll just focus on creating the app. So we need to declare var form widgets app.pages.email sender and that's great auto completion coming up there and we need the descendants because we're going to take all of those descendants and then set them back to their starting point because we want to clear out the form so let's do form widgets dot email status perfect auto completion and we set the text back to nothing okay that's simple enough now we need to do the same thing for the to the subject and the message all right we also need the send message function and what this is going to do is allow us to call the server side side the, the server side function so just like we would with an app script we're going to use google script.run and then define a failure handler and a success handler and after a success we're going to clear the email form and this is the name of the server side function that we're going to define let's go ahead and define that now and in fact let's grab those parameters also let's say function with the I, I think these you would technically call these arguments to subject and message and we're passing those in here to subject and message so both on the client script and server script we are grabbing those variables and we'll just track that all the way back so this is what is eventually running let's say console.log um, email message on server that's being called here which is being called back in our send all the way back to here send message with two subject and message and sorry about this this should actually be message like that because I spelled it all the way up perfect let's give that a try and in fact on the uh, server script let's just log that out uh, let's say to the subject and the message and this should actually display in those logs when we preview everything oh what's the error cannot read property descendants of undefined at send message client script line 10 so we can track that all the way back to client script line 10 pages email and that's because our page is actually called email sender i didn't follow the tutorial exactly as close as possible but just enough to mess up so we can actually re-preview the send email message on server that's exactly what we were looking for Jordan hello world font face Arial size 2 interesting so that's exactly what we are looking for with those various uh, variables being console logged all the way here in our uh, server script well let's go ahead and actually flesh this um, function all the way out We'll be using some Google Apps script here, mail app, and we want to send email to, we can just use the, we can just use the arguments that we passed in, subject, we need to then give it the message, msg, and then we want to pass in an HTML body. 
and that's going to be the message also so that it looks nice and formatted if we go all the way back to our custom action what gets passed in here from this message field actually will look like HTML. That's why here, what it's sent in is this font tag with uh, that font size, and that allows us to use these little buttons up here, insert an image, that's very cool. All kinds of cool stuff there. That should be enough to get us going. Two, I want it to go to jordan at jordanray.com. Hello world. Hello. And let's make this um, background red, foreground white. See what that looks like when I send it. And there it comes right through. Just like that, we have an app that's sending emails. Harnessing into the power of Google Apps Script with the mail app and the ability to go even deeper. We could actually grab a spreadsheet app and then look at this beautiful auto completion help here. Super cool stuff. It's actually pulling up documentation from the from the source itself. So I hope that's a great introduction to what you can do with Google Apps Script. I plan on doing more things and kind of opening up the possibilities with Google Apps Script and App Maker, and especially in the education world, there are tons of cool things that can be built. And I look forward to exploring that stuff in the coming weeks. I will talk to you soon.